free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, we're playing some LeBlanc in the mid lane with the rework as well. And we're running, I think it's called the Elderwood skin. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure I have it right in the title. And let's go ahead here and get ourselves the Dorn's Ring and two health potions and the Warden Trink and head onto the lane. Look at the teams here today, guys. Of course, yours truly playing that rework to LeBlanc in the mid lane. We've also got Lizzie Lizard playing that I really in the top lane. We got uh, Lava D-Man actually playing that Shaco in the jungle, and Shaco also got a rework, so we'll be seeing some of that footage here today as well. And then Tristana and Thresh in the dual lane being Krez and Welk. And uh, look, it's looking at their team here, guys. It's looking like we're against the Lucian AD carry, also the Warwick in the jungle, the Elise support actually, which I didn't think was really a thing, but I guess it is. I mean, I remember back when Elise first came out, people were thinking, hey, maybe she'll be a support. She's got a stun, like, you know, that's kind of support-like, but... You don't know, she's definitely a jungler. She's got really strong ganks. And as far as the soul lanes go, it's going to be the Fiora and the Velkaz. And Velkaz, of course, will be our opponent in lane. Now, I think Warwick tried to get a ward down, but was just like, but LeBlanc's like there, and she's beautiful and scary at the same time. And it's like, I, I, I can't ward when, when she's around. I mean, I'm this big bad wolf. I got to come from the shadows and surprise them with a surprise butt sex. Or as, you know, Warwick likes to do, he likes to, he likes to use his hands. So he's maybe going to be scratching away at them and grab away their ass. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going on a tangent. So let's just let's just get to lane here and start auto-attacking the Velkaz because he's giving me the opportunity to avoid that W of his as well. And if he comes close enough, I have my Distortion level 1. I normally have to take Distortion level 1 on LeBlanc before the rework. And since the rework's been out, I've only played her once. And, well, it's looking like it's still working for me. Proc that Thunderlords as well. So there we go. Ooh, I'm going to barely miss that minion. I don't like that at all. And I'm going to get this one, though. Nice, nice, and avoid that W of his once again. It looks like he's actually pushing the wave in with that. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose or not, but that's definitely what's happening regardless. And that's going to push the lane towards us a little bit, setting up possible ganks for the future. Of course, I have, I have used my W once, so it's going to push the wave a little bit back towards him. But overall, yeah, he's actually using his AoE spells more than I am, so the wave is pushing towards me. And I like that, because Shaco's taking out his blue buff as we speak, and that's going to mean that Velkaz would be in a bad spot. But I may as well mention a few things before we get too far into the commentary and get too into the gameplay itself, because there's really not much that go going on so far in the lane phase, of course. I mean, this is League of Legends, after all, where I miss minions consistently, and nothing really happens in the lane phase unless I'm getting a kill. So, the first thing I want to bring up is, of course, as I'm making videos more regularly now, I will be playing with viewers and all that more regularly, making videos and recording, and, you know, all those things. And so, with that, I'm always looking for new players to play with. So, if any of you guys are playing North American servers, hop into the Captain Monk chat room. I'm unfortunately going to get hit by both of those procs. That's unfortunate. But yeah, hop into the Captain Monk chat room on North American servers. Uh, I think they might actually change how chat rooms work on a future patch. But for the time being, there's still chat rooms as far as I know. And so with that, hop in there. And once you're in there, uh, honestly, you just got to be patient. I can't really give you any better advice than that. Just be patient. Your time will come when you'll be in a game. And I'm just going to wait for him to use his E there. And there's the first blood. Wow, we did so much damage. I did not see that one coming. But managed to get ourselves the first blood. And I like that very much. And can I get this minion? I think I can. Yeah, I can. All right. Can I get this one? Nope, not gonna happen. And the thing is, I want to push the wave back to Velkaz, but the thing is, there's such a fat wave accumulated here that it just seems like a better plan for me to hold it here and wait for him to come back and maybe kill him again. God damn you! I'm missing all these minions, man! I suck. How how, how did how did I get to make videos? I don't know. I start, when I started making videos, man, I was really bad at this game too. So maybe maybe I've always been bad. Maybe I was never good. Who? Why do you guys watch me? I don't I don't know. But. Uh, so yeah, back on topic though, as far as like getting players to play with me and all that. Uh, yeah, just hop in there guys and just be patient. Once you are like being invited to a game, which will happen, you know, when I'm online and I'm inviting players and you just so happen to be online at the same time. Uh, once you're in there, it's so simple because from there I give you the Discord link for the Discord server. Because once I play a game with you and I see that you're actually a pretty solid player. And once you have the Discord link, it's so easy because remember looking for players and the chat room isn't providing. I go into Discord and I see who's actually online because Discord's one of those programs that you know auto boots up with your computer. So I can see who's online but just isn't on League and just be like, yo, like you're not on League, but like League of Legends is the bomb. Get online and let's play the all the games, right? And I'm actually gonna walk into that one. I'll put my first potion here. Uh, so that, that's pretty much how that works. So definitely check that out, guys. If you are North American service, if you're not, I am sorry, but I'm gonna have to leave you disappointed with that one. And let's do some damage to Belkaz, avoiding some of his spells and. Possibly gonna get the kill here, actually. No, no. See, I could use both my summoners and kill him with my ignite, flash, and a Q, but is that worth it? No, it's not. I just killed him. I can probably do it again without using my summoners and hold on to that, and so I have that extra safety uh, to get away from Warwick later on. And I'll pop that last potion. I don't know. It, it might have been actually worth it for all I know, but I just I don't like doing that, and I don't want to walk into that. 
So we're up five minions here. Could be better, could be worse, but I think we still have the opportunity to kill this guy if he shows himself just a little bit more. Ouch. Can I avoid the damage? He has his barrier, though. He has a barrier. I forgot he's running barrier. God damn it. <laughs> that sucks, but that's okay, though. We'll get ourselves a Phoenix Codex. We'll get ourselves boots. And I don't know, man. Like, I could get potions, but I could also get the control ward. And control ward is kind of tempting, so I think I'll do that. So the control ward is basically season 7's, you know, it's not season 7 technically yet, but it's what it's going to be, the pink ward, instead of, what? Alright, I, I, <laughs> he's thinking the same thing I'm thinking, respond to aggression, do it now! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck that's about, but what I was going to say though is, the pink ward has been replaced with the control ward. So you still have your trinkets, those are pretty much still the same as far as I know, I mean they maybe ninja buffed those or ninja nerfed them as far as I'm concerned, but this... I think they're fine. I think they're the same. So with the control word, instead of being like a pink word where you see all and control all and all that, uh, ironic that I'm using the word control as it's now called the control word and actually controls less than the pink word did, but you get to see and actually prevent uh, trinkets from working, so like trinket wards, and it allows you also to see camouflage targets like Evelyn and Rengar, and I think Twitch counts as a, as a camouflage as well, but other stealth champions will actually remain stealth, so Kha'Zix, uh, I think Wukong as well. Uh, there's probably some other ones on that list of champions that can avoid that entirely. So that's pretty cool. It basically makes it so that stealth champions who rely on their stealth for their kit will be able to avoid pink wards being broken. I think Akali is another one that I can avoid it, right? And Shaco as well, maybe? Whereas like some champions like Rengar and Evelyn who stay stealth for way too long and is kind of strong, they will have a different experience. And I, oh, that's why you're coming so close. I mean... I could just chain you again and possibly kill you. Maybe. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, I'll just hop out of that. Thank you, sir, for burning your ult. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, in that scenario, Warwick came in level 5. He did not have the damage or the utility or pretty much anything at all because he doesn't have his ultimate. He's, you know, a one-trick pony in that sense. He needs his ult to do anything at all. Because of that, we get ourselves a nice kill on him and maybe get the kill here onto Velkaz as well. We will. Locking him down with the chain, the extra damage from our Q, and that is going to seal the deal. So now that we're like seven and a half minutes in, I may as well explain how this champion works. Because I did play her last game to get in a bit of an idea. And I may as well go ahead and give you guys a quick summary of how this all works. I don't fully understand it myself, so if I make any mistakes in my explanation or uh, in even my mechanics, if I make mistakes, feel free to let me know. Because I'm always open to criticism, as long as it's productive being the key word. So... Uh, her Q is basically the same, minus the fact that there's not two portions of the damage anymore. Before, her Q had two portions of damage. The damage that you would use from using the ability, and the damage that would happen when you used the ability following your Q. But they've moved that actually to her passive. Her passive does that now, which is kind of cool. I'm thinking I kind of want to go for this, actually, the Abyssal Scepter. Because against their team comp, the least possible building damage, and Warwick's alt, isn't it physical though, but it scales with AP? Or is it magic that scales with AD? I think it's magic that scales with AD, but I'm not sure... Fuck it, let's just go with Morellonomicon. You really can't go wrong with Morellonomicon. Not to mention it's going to have some more mana, and I could really use that right now, because I think LeBlanc's mana cost is still pretty high. Plus, show me the mana cost. Yeah, wait, yeah, 100 mana. So it's still, like, it's still some, somewhat significant. So that's how her coup works. Her passive now, instead of being that whole, I get low health, I distort into two things and walk around like an idiot, I always thought that was kind of odd and out of place with LeBlanc's kit, that you just go invisible when you get low health and split into two. Because that extra one doesn't really do anything, it's just kind of there. Wow, I'm weak. At least my Q's weak. My W's probably really strong. Hell yeah, it is. Get all those. And uh, so yeah, 52 minions, 9 minutes. It's LeBlanc. We're not going to get that many minions because we kind of suck with her to begin with. And she's kind of difficult to farm with as a champion, so that's just kind of how it goes, unfortunately. But I think it's okay. Uh, let's just keep pushing this in, though, because Velkaz is not showing his pretty little face. Come here. Come here, you. Take this. Avoid some of the damage. Maybe takes a little bit more back though, but I think I still I still showed I mean business. And that's gotta be worth at least brownie points here and there, right? Uh okay. Mm. Ooh, I thought I could avoid that, but I just I couldn't quite. Oh please. Yeah, we avoided that one. And hello Warwick. Time to distort because you're gonna use your ultimate. Like a buffoon. Oh, Speaking of buffoons, <laughs> so, a mistake I made there, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this hugely so that you guys don't make the same mistake I just made. So what I was looking to do there was not distort back like I did, because that's what I end up doing. I end up distorting from he this point here, here, Warwick Alt, then back. What I was looking to do was pop my ultimate 
and then use my distortion even further. Didn't go that way, because I pressed my W a little bit too soon, so I ended up distorting back here, <laughs> right into the face of Velkaz alt. Not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do either. What the hell am I doing? Let's get more potions. So, the way LeBlanc's ultimate works now, it's a little bit different. I know I'm kind of all over the place with my explanations of her, but if I will eventually get to every point. I promise that much. So, her ult, instead of being like it was before, where you use an ability and then the, use your ultimate, and whatever ability you just used prior to your ultimate is just better, you actually have to press your ultimate and then use an ability. So you have to have the choice, you actually have the choice, excuse me, of going, oh, let's use your Q, then you do whatever the fuck you want, you press R, then you press Q. Because that, that would be a double Q, right? Uh, you could also do uh, W, press R, press W, and that would be a double W. You could even go Q and then press your alt and then use your W, and you would do a QW, right? But it would be an empowered W, for the second one. So there's a bunch of different combos you can do now. It's You really have so many more options instead of just doing the same spell twice. And you also can use your ultimate twice. If you use your ultimate twice, you get this like clone of yourself that just kind of waddles around for a while and is useless but is still there, but you can't control it. And I don't know, It's it seems really strange. I haven't really used it enough to understand if it's actually worth doing or not. I just know it's part of a kit. But I always find myself wanting to use a, a different spell instead of using, uh, you know, a clone does nothing, because it literally says here, uh, actually, let me just get this minion first. The Mimic appears at target location, approaches the closest visible enemy champion, then casts a fake version of LeBlanc's most recent basic ability. So it copies, it does a basic ability of yours, but it's a copy, and I don't think it actually does damage, but it may be. It might be the damage that shows up there earlier on, and it just does whatever you just did. I don't fully understand it, to be honest, but it's whatever. And let's just do that. I wanted to get those two minions, and I didn't want to waste time with it. Uh, it looks like Elise on the side here with no mana. I mean, my team wants to get Dragon. I'm pretty motivated to get Dragon, to be honest, because it is Infernal. So it seems like a good way to go. Let's just go ahead and do that. But yeah, her passive is pretty cool now, though, because instead of your Q being the second proc of damage, it's not your passive. So you can use pretty much any ability, and as long as you follow it up something else, that second ability is going to do a lot of damage. Of course, it has an individual cooldown of 5 seconds per target, so you can't just, you know chain like four abilities and get your passive twice on the same target you know you gotta like space it out a little bit but if you hit multiple targets which is what that's trying to encourage you to do you're actually gonna end up hitting like a lot of people for a lot of damage and that's really good uh, one thing's also neat is instead of the combo being in lane like you know you use your q first then your w you can do that and proc that damage but if you use another ability first and then your q your q will actually split to hitting other targets that were infected by your your uh, first abilities proc of whatever your passive is and go away i know what you're trying to do this guy's really, really after me this game, it seems. It's probably because I killed him earlier on when he was level 5. That was funny. But, <laughs> it's, yeah, it led to him trying to kill me a lot, it seems. And Fiora's pressuring here, and I think I might be able to help. Especially if I release TP it in and goes for the fight. If Fiora gets baited by that, I can just come in here and clean up. See, it looks like Fiora's game kind of baited. You're not getting away from me, friend. So what I did there is I just popped my distortion, distorted it again with my ultimate, and from there, I could have used my abilities to try and pop her a little bit sooner, but I had the feeling she was going to flash, and I didn't want to use chain and just miss that, because she flashes and all that, so I was waiting for the flash, and then from there, reacted accordingly. Now, where is your E? The E is the spell I gotta be careful of, and his ult, but yeah, he's not going to do anything. He's going to be a coward and send this waddle away. Waddle away. I don't like it when they all get that low and they don't die. It's like, you trying to make me sad? Don't do that. And I'm down four minions now. That's another reason to be sad. I can't have that. We gotta catch minions. Come on, Velkos, come close. Ooh, okay. So that didn't really go the way I wanted it to. Can I get out? Okay. Had to use my ultimate to avoid the rest of that damage. I think I might have died if I didn't jump out of there. But uh, essentially, I think what happened there is I was looking to avoid... Okay, not that spell, but definitely gonna avoid that one, though. I was looking to avoid his E, the knockup. And so I just sorted back to where I came from, and unfortunately that led me to still be in his W, uh, second proc of damage. And I, I don't know, with this ult down, I feel like I can still kill him here. I don't have Mineral Anomicon, but I don't think I need it. And he's shoving it so quickly. Shaco's coming in as well. I have friends. I missed my chain? Really? Well, that's unfortunate. I thought I really hit that, so I popped the Ignite. I was like, hey, this is free. Like, we got this, but I guess not. I guess I'll clear this out. But yeah, like, so like a few combos you can do is you can use your Q if you want to first, and then use your W. But a better combo is just use your W first, and then your Q. 
And if we can get this person... Wow, I really suck this game, don't I? I thought that chain would hit again there, but I guess it's out of range. Alright, well, <laughs> he did learn how to play LeBlanc, apparently. Keep in mind, this is my second time playing her since the rework. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I've gotten a general idea of how to play her and stuff from playing her in the past, and just from being experienced with League of Legends to some extent. So I have, like, a, like a general idea, but I'm by no means experienced with this at all. So let's get ourselves that Amplifying Tome, and I am thinking... I don't know, Abyssal Scepter would be so good, but it'd also be, like, not necessary in this game. I don't know. Can't go wrong with Amplifying Tome, though. And our control word, I think, is still alive? I mean, this is it here, right? It does not tell me whose it is. It says, Source is Time. Did Zillion show up and just place a pink or a control word? Like, wh whose is it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, is, there's, there's, there's really no way of knowing other than that. Like, I'm seeing if there's any, like, stat that like, shows a name. Not that I know of. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So I use the W. Key. Oop, not what I wanted to do there. Uh, double W. Or wait, that's not a word. That's not right. I use my ultimate Q. What, what is this ability called? Shatter Orb. So I use my empowered shadow Shatter Orb. Is what I did there. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time saying that, but I guess it's just a difficult thing to say for some reason. And it looks like it's a bit of a fight here with Irelia and Fiora. If Irelia can juke back towards Shaco and I, we can easily turn this around. It looks like it's already been turned around. Or has it? No, no, it totally has. Nice. Okay. That was kind of strange, though. Doesn't my distortion... Shouldn't I be able to use this and then use my Q and that should make them shatter and do the splitting thing that it describes in the spell? I don't know. That's that. I thought that was going to happen there when I used it on the... Let's, let's test it. So I do this. Does that to kill the target? Why does it keep saying that aggression bullshit? Alright. I don't understand how this ability works. When Shadow Orb is empowered by Sigil of Malice, which I think is when you hit a champion with ability, bounces to the nearest ready Sigil of Malice. So it's only targets... Okay, I think I get it now. It only jumps the other ones that have been hit by it, I guess? So let's try it on here. And then... Yeah, so it does jump. Okay, there's how it works. We figured it out. Only took us a game and a half, but I figured it out. Didn't want to miss that siege minion. All right, and can we get this turret here? Possibly. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get game banged up from every direction, but we're LeBlanc. We got Jukes, and like this is a free kill on Elise, but Lucian's here too. He's out of mana though, so he's gonna get popped, and you're gonna get popped. Just pop my ult there and pop the Q after that, just to finish her off. Why not, right? Why not? Avoid that. Come back in, though, because we a man. I'm going to go ahead and do some damage to the Fiora. I'm going to unfortunately lose my Ethereal Chains on her here. But I think that should be enough to burn through Vel'Koz. It will be. Nice. Yeah, I had a feeling I had the damage. Just have to have faith. It's the one thing I'm often without. But if you put faith in League of Legends, League of Legends will reward you. With free kills. And LP. And all that good stuff. Speaking of LP, actually, though, because I was unable to play a league for so freaking long, it <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I end up demoting, I think, all the way down to plat 2. And I tried to climb out, but unfortunately, with the time I had left, which is literally 3 days, just couldn't do it. I'm not good enough, man. I'm not good enough at League of Legends. Can I chain you? I can. Oh, that hook, though. I mean, I think I could still kill her, though. Get this. There it is. Very nice play. Yeah, Thresh did that extra flash there. I don't know if that really changed much in that fight, but I feel like it might have. So if it did, nice job. If it didn't, so then it's unfortunate. But frankly, we still ended up doing okay there. And I'm very happy. I'm very happy with that. I want to get these kills here because I see that how low they are. But at the same time, Vel'Koz is there. And Vel'Koz is scurry. So we got to be careful of that. But I think if we keep pressing the turret wave, the turret... <laughs> I wanted to say the turret and the wave, not the turret wave. There's no such thing as a turret wave. Imagine that, like a wave of turrets coming at you. Come at me, bro. Oh, can I get out? No, I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> I could sit here and I could be I could be solid with Thresh. You baited me right into that Vel'Koz ult, but no. I'm the one who you pressed W, not him. That is not his fault by any means. But if I was a salty solo queue player, I could easily point the blame at him. <laughs> but no, it's it's like it's my choice to press buttons and use my abilities, so of course it's my fault. Uh 
But yeah, Velkaz is looking like he's doing decent. But the rest of the team's really not. And that makes me kind of, kind of, I don't know, it's like, it's kind of weird. Cause like, I want to get an Abyssal, but I don't really want to overkill it. But I kind of want to at the same time. Let's, you know, I'll just do this and we'll of course Rabadon's next. Because Rabadon's second on LeBlanc is so much damage. Uh, same thing with Luden's Echo, if you want with that. But Luden's Echo, I don't think it's as good. I think with you having another AP ratio on your passive now, I feel like that's just like a ton. that A ton of reasoning towards getting just more pure AP towards like Rabadon's or whatever. Like Luden's is good and stuff. You already have enough spell procs to do damage. You just need more pure AP, I think. I might be wrong though. It looks like Shaco's going in here. At least it's just gonna drop. I almost pop my ultimate and use my Q on her. <laughs> she wasn't moving, she was just like standing there like, hey, what's up? And what is going on here? I'll just do that. Juking around and stuff. <laughs> that works for me. And let's move on to Velkaz next. But yeah, it looks like like the Fiora and Warwick decided to go for a really suicidal dive. Who knows why, but they did, it did not work on their favor. We can tell that much. Normally, suicidal dives don't work out for you. That's just how it goes. And we should build this turret. That turret's so low. I couldn't quite get the Velkaz. I was hoping to double distortion to finish him off there, but couldn't quite do it. That's okay, though. We got his barrier, and I think we got his flash, possibly, too. I don't remember seeing him flash, but it feels like that's something he might have done, right? It just seems logical. <laughs> Using the new jungle, uh, what are those, plants, I guess, to explode over the wall and at least support. W what are you doing, friend? All right, unfortunately, going to miss my W there, but that's okay. Still procs the Q. Give me that. Give me this. Actually, I want blue buff. I'm gonna go over here. Wait, is my team in a fight? Yo! I really went in, like, <laughs> super in, and we were not ready for that. What, what was that? I don't know. I'm going over here. I want blue buff first. That's what I want. I want that extra CDR, I want that extra man regen, and I want that golden XP. I want all of it. All of it, now. I think the chain is just the most damage if he ults. Uh, total, because hits twice. So I think that might be the way to go when you're clearing buffs. Because yeah, I mean, the damage here, Shadow Orb does 275 plus whatever ratio. And ooh, you can get these. That's right. Sorry, reading things. <laughs> uh, yeah, does, Distortion definitely does less. And the Ethereal Chains does that much, but twice. So I don't know. Some of you mathematicians and fucking respond to aggression already, damn it. The chat clearly wants you to do it. <laughs> can we do this? See, that's what I'm talking about. Why does that happen? What the fuck was that? I used my distortion, and then I used my alt, and then I used my distortion again, but instead of blinking forward, I blink right back. Is that a bug, or what is that? Like, that shouldn't happen, should it? I don't know, but like, maybe I'm just really, really, really fucking bad and not use my kit correctly, but that doesn't feel right. At least to me, it doesn't. You missed your stun on a non-moving target. I wanted to see if she'd be able to do it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, you're gonna die for your sins. Because you fucking chased after a Fed LeBlanc as support Elise. Like, I'm sorry, but you're not getting that one off. You're not getting out of that one scot free. And it looks like a bit of a fight's going on top lane. My teammates are low on the run. Let's see what I can do to fix that. And unfortunately, getting a phone call. I'm just gonna hang that up real quick. And head over to the top lane. I mean, Fiora's pretty low on mana, and she's also pretty low on HP. She is regenning, but, like, I don't think it's enough. I really don't. So, is team gonna help me? My team's pinging like lots of stuff. Whenever you see a lot of pings, you always gotta be like weary. Like, is my team really gonna help me here? And I'm thinking no. I'm thinking they're not gonna help me on that one. So I'll just back up, just, just to be safe. By the way, I just noticed I have no assists. I'm literally killing everybody that I touch. If I touch somebody, they die or they just get away. I have not given a kill away to anybody else. <laughs> How douchey is that? It's freaking awesome. All right, there's a lot of them here, so let's Get this minion and take us some free damage from Lucian just because we want to show that we don't give a fuck about him. He could damage us all he wants and we just it doesn't it doesn't phase us at all. And hello. I don't know if that's gonna work out for you. <laughs> I kept the chain on long enough to kill him, and then I went immediately back. Nice. And you're gonna die now too for your sins. Fuck you there, Warwick. And their blue buff is now up. Am I just gonna get every blue buff this game? Is that what's happening? 
I don't really want to stay here. Wow, I got destroyed. She's really strong. Okay, so Fiora is an issue. <laughs> Yeah, I think I could have comboed my spells a little bit better when I was fighting her there. I'm not entirely sure what it was I did, but I don't feel like it was the best because it didn't work. <laughs> and as LeBlanc, when I have this many kills, I should be able to fight that, right? I should be able to find something that works, a combo of some sort, but I just I couldn't find it, man. I'm not, I need to learn how to combo correctly. I think I'll review the footage, though, after this game, and I'll check out what it is I did there and what it is I could have done differently. That's what I like to do, and that's part of the reason why I got into recording, is because I was originally actually recording to see what it is I was doing, and then learn how to be better by seeing what I was doing wrong, you know, by looking at my own footage and be like, yo, like, I should have done this differently here. Next thing you know, I add commentary to it, and that's, you know, how this all began. And it looks like Fiora should go down here to Shastana. One more auto attack, we'll do that and get the reset as well, so she'll hop back into the fight here, chase after the Lucian after getting the Elise, and possibly gonna hop again pretty soon? I mean, Lucian's not quite dead yet, but she almost has what it takes to take him out. She just needs to get a little bit closer. Maybe she's going for Velkaz instead. The red buff is slowing him down. Maybe that will lead to the kill. Avoiding the E. Not quite, unfortunately. And Tristana is not going to get the kill because of that. She needed to dodge that E. She just could not do it. Okay, so that time it worked. My double distortion, at least, that is. But maybe maybe I am just bad. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's my, my all my problems. I'm just bad. Gotta be better at this game. Gotta learn to play. So I'll pop the Q here on this one, I think. And just... Distortion through the wave, and our CS is starting to catch up as I'm getting strong in the game and all that. I would like to have, like, 200 by now, though, if I was better. But then again, if I had 200 by now, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not good enough. I need to have 220. It's just how I work, right? Like, I always want to be better than I am. At least I'm able to one-shot the back minions. That's that's always a nice thing to see. It's just like, ah, oh, one spell, one HP bar, gone. Ah. All right, so there's that. I still don't have a single assist, of course, why would I? I'm Captain Monk, I take every fucking kill. <laughs> I'm an asshole like that. I'll do this for good measure, why not? And Velkaz is double buffs. Walk into this brush, I dear you. I dear you. Yeah, he's not gonna do it. He's, he's not into deers. I think he's into, like, octopus or something. But, uh... You know, I should've said that. I should've, I should've said what... Wait, is it is it Taco that is octopus? In a sushi or whatever. Mm, I'm really upset about that. <laughs> he fucking gave me my first assist, even though I used everything. Oh, I don't like that at all. Gah! I just I want to rage, but I don't want to rage at the same time. It's like ah, damn you. <laughs> you just suck. You know that. <laughs> I give him a winky face though, so he knows I'm joking. Hop over the wall with the new plant bullshit. <laughs> oh, he puts it in all chat too, nice. Wants to bring on the BM. <laughs> this fucking face. <laughs> like, what even is that? I don't even know. Let's head over here towards the jungle though. Looks like we have a sweeper down, so we might be able to pick somebody here because they have no idea that we're sitting in this brush waiting for them to come in. by what appears to be basically Tinkerbell in League of Legends. And his friend. And this is gonna hurt, holy fuck. I regret this, I regret this so much. <laughs> but at least we're gonna get a hook on Lucian. Well done. Yeah, that, that really sucked. I think in that scenario, if I was to have uh, dashed into Warwick, done some damage, and then gunned right back out, and then used my ult, and then dash out again to avoid the Velkaz ult. That would have been a really good way to go. But unfortunately with that, I think I was too CC'd. Uh, he didn't do anything, but the light... I got hit by the... Uh, it doesn't show it here, but I, hit, I got hit by his knockup. And I think by that point, I was just so low. It's just like this. I'm not going to live this. Like, this is just too much. I'm dead. But at least I managed to get the components from my Hourglass. I think Hourglass will really help me this game. As against Lucian, specifically, I'll have the armor, which would be good. Against Fiora, I'll have the armor. And also, wow, nice. I also get the ability, of course, to pop my like, hourglass active to avoid damage if I need to, which is really good as LeBlanc, because I'm pretty squishy, and if I get caught out, I want to have that luxury. Because when I go golden, man, I mean, just like a gold medalist in the Olympics, people notice. So, <laughs> when you get like, when you go golden, people are going to notice the team, your opponents, and your opponents will get baited by that if you pop it at a good time, and your opponents, or sorry, your teammates will help you. Because they'll be like, yo, our teammate is low and in golden mode, he needs help, let's go help him. And next thing you know, your teammates are all holding your hand, being like, bro, I got you, I got you. And you're just like, yeah. 
Ooh, a lantern. Let's do this. I see you. Apparently you see me, though. You and your golden web. That's right, it was golden I noticed. That's, that's how it works. And hello, I can hop over this wall. That's really fucking awesome! Aw, oh, man. I wanted that kill. I bought my ult in the hopes of using one other chain, if not one other Q. It just couldn't be done. But I will take that one, though. Get a ward down here. Are we going for Baron, though? I mean, we totally could. It's just a matter of do we want to. That is annoying. Yeah, that's less annoying. I like that. They all got so low. It's just like, that's like so ugly to look at. Like, why are you making me look at this? And hold on. Nice heal there. I don't know how that works, but we got a heal. Got ourselves a Baron as well. Warwick's on the side, but I don't think he's going to be a problem. Because we're just going to destroy him. Alright, there's one down. Who else is left? I mean, nobody. I mean, they got rid of Lucian on the side as well. So, that's really all the threats eliminated. So, let's head over here to the mid lane. Tristan's gonna push a few of these minions up. We'll clear up some ourselves. Get ourselves another point in our E. Fiora is pressuring, but I think we should be able to outpressure the mid lane here and make her really regret actually just pushing against us when her team is losing their base. And I'll just clear these three out. I know I'm gonna take some tower shots here. Or one. Oh, it's not laser anymore. I thought I'm used to laser effect from towers. And at least it's gonna avoid. Oh, what the fuck? She died anyways. Alright. I am not complaining though. But yeah, I guess they changed the tower. I thought it was still a laser effect. When did they remove that? Beats me. I, I got no idea. Alright, well, there's that. Let's get ourselves these back three minions, or I guess the siege and two more. And okay, Lucian's back up. Warwick is up as well. Chances are Warwick's alt up soon, if not, like, already up, because his collateral reduction is probably pretty high. At least I think so. No, he's only got 10%. Okay, well, his alt's still a pretty short cooldown, so who knows for sure. Because I do not... Got you. Can we get this guy as well? I like double chaining people as LeBlanc now. It's so fucking strong. Look at that. So much damage. It's beautiful. Okay, and now let's go for the turret. And they're surrendered, but we can win the game before they surrender, right? 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 Nope. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, that's the game here, guys. Hopefully, you guys liked it. My first video with the new reworked LeBlanc. Of course, not really much has changed overall with her. They just kind of took her camera and was like, okay, like, we like this, but we're going to make it slightly different. But it's still the same thing. It's just. Not, not the same. I don't, I don't know. That's just how I see it anyways. I think she's still really, really strong. Really good burst. Uh, her wave career feels about the same. Her problems feel about the same. They just kind of took her and made her different, but the same. So that's it here, guys. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, drop that rating. Helps the channel so, so much. And subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.